Mabuhay! Binabati ko kayong lahat. Masaya ako dahil magkasama tayo sa isa na namang taon ng pag-aaral at pagtataya ng ating mga sarili. Ngunit bago tayo magsimula, ay balikan muna natin kahit saglit ang nagdaang taon. Perhaps foremost in the minds of many of us right now would revolve around the question, what will a return to school look like this time? If today was still March 2020, the start of the pandemic lockdown, our answers would probably be less hopeful. Father Francis Alvarez, SJ, explains this really well. He said, A year ago, we were walking only by faith and not by sight. There is truth to this. A year ago, there were so many things we did not know. There were so many things we did not understand. Yet we trusted in the goodness of the Lord, and that is why we have reached this point. As a great school community, I believe we are now in a much better place than we first began. Sa taong ito, hindi lamang pananampalataya sa Diyos ang magdadala sa atin. Ang pananampalataya natin sa ating mga sariling kakayahan at karanasan ang siya magbibigay direksyon sa ating pupuntahan. So as we set our sights on our goals, it is good to remind ourselves that this year marks the 500th anniversary of St. Ignatius' Cannonball Experience. Alam nyo ba na habang nakikipaglaban ang sundalong si Ignacio, tinamaan ng bola ng kanyon ang kanyang binti. At dito na nagsimula ang pagbabago sa kanyang buhay. While recovering from the injury, Ignatius began to pray. And as he prayed, he began to change. That's when he decided not to be a king's soldier anymore, but to be a servant of God. This year, God is inviting each and every one of us to deepen our relationship with Him. In a very quiet and personal way, God is calling us to live and act in new bold ways that can bring about a world of justice, peace, and compassion. For this Ignatian year, we ask for the grace to see all things new in Christ. Christ-centeredness, one of the five C's, is at the heart of our mission here in the Ateneo Grade School. As we strive to form young men of competence, conscience, compassion, and commitment. Being Christ-centered lies firmly in the belief that Jesus is someone whom we can always talk to in prayer. We believe that Jesus is a faithful friend and a loving companion who always teaches and helps us to believe in ourselves, do what is right, love and care for one another, and see things through till the end. This is a continuing process. 
And we always have to put Christ at the center. Isa rin sa mga katangian ng atinista ay ang kahusayan o kagalingan nito sa iba't ibang larangan ng buhay. Ang paghubog sa kaniya ay isang mahabang proseso na nagsisimula bago pa man siya pumasok bilang mag-aaral sa Ateneo. Sowing the seeds of competence begins at a young age and parents definitely have a hand in laying the groundwork for this. Competence is all about realizing one's potential and the ability to maximize it in order to achieve excellence. The Ignatian value of magis, meaning more, often comes to mind when we hear the word excellence. But rather than aiming for a long list of competencies, the focus of magis is for each student to develop his interests, talents, and skills no matter how little or nascent they are, and to discern how he can use them for the greater good. I used to teach young boys in grade one. At the start of the school year, many of my students would feel unsure. Can I do the assignments? How good do I have to be in reading or in math? Will I be able to make new friends? There are times they think they couldn't do the tasks they were supposed to do. But all this would change in a span of just one year. With the help and encouragement of parents, teachers, and even their classmates, they would soon realize that they could do many things which they thought they could not do when they first began. This is a wonderful sight to behold indeed. It's amazing to see how much more they can do, how much more confident they've become, how much more ready they are for the next step in their journey. We call this growth and proof that many things can be done with hard work, dedication, and a growing sense of independence. It is this growing independence that also builds their confidence and self-esteem. If we provide opportunities and give them the chance to grapple with learning situations, we will be amazed at how much they can achieve on their own. And these things that they achieve on their own, these are the things that they really remember. These are the things that make them happy and proud of themselves. This growing sense of self is a precious gift that we give them. Ang kakayahang gawin ang isang bagay ng mabuti at ng mag-isa ay isang kahusayan din. Layunin ng Ateneo na gabayan ang bawat mag-aaral upang lumaki siyang may tiwala sa sarili at may kakayahang gawin ang mga bagay-bagay may tulong man o wala. We know, dear students, that you are just starting your journey in the grade school and there are still more things to learn. Just remember, instead of saying, I can't do that, say, I can't do that yet because in time, we believe that you can. By the time our students reach grade 6, they can already do a lot of things. However, the ability to do things is different from the ability to do the right one given the circumstances. Choosing precedes doing, and one can only choose correctly with a sound mind and a well-formed conscience. Conscience is the inherent ability of every human being to recognize what is right and what is wrong, and on the strength of this perception, to take courage in standing up for what is good and in correcting the mistake that has been done 
with humility and accountability. May git na dalawang dekada na akong pari at sa tuwing nakikinig ako sa kumpisal ng mga mag-aaral dito sa grade school, higit na tumitindi ang aking paniniwala na kahit na bata ay may kakayahan ding mamili kung alin ang tama at mali. Paano nga ba hinuhubog ng Ateneo ang katangiang ito? We do it by setting clear and inconsistent limits for our students. Behaviors become manageable because the spirit behind school rules and regulations are explained well. When done consistently, students are able to understand and appreciate the values of rules, not only in school, but also life in general. Conscience is anchored on the Indian value of discernment, which involves both prayer and reflection. It enables us to notice God at work in the world. In other words, it allows us to find God in all things. Na mamalagi ang Dios sa anumang lugar, na nanatili siya sa anumang bagay, na nanahan siya sa sinumang nilalang. Kailangan lamang natin siyang masumpungan. Because when we learn to pay more attention to God, we become more thankful, respectful, and closer to Him who helps us to choose the more loving action anytime, anywhere. We often experience God's love through the people around us. And this experience allows us to share that same love in our own small ways. This gratitude that we feel for having been blessed by God leads us to share our blessings to those who are in need, especially the poor and disadvantaged. Ang maging tao para sa kapwa ay isa sa mga mithiin ng batang atinista. Tulad ni Kristo, ito ay higit na naipapakita sa ating mga bungang kilos at gawa. Panginoon, kailan po namin kayo nakitang nagutom at aming pinakain o nauhaw at aming pinainom? Kailan namin kayo nakitang naging dayuhan at aming pinatuloy o walang maisuot at aming binihisan? Kailan namin kayo nakitang may sakit o nasa kulungan at aming binisita? Ito rin marahil ang tanong ng nakakarami sa atin at ito naman ang sagot ng Diyos. Sinasabi ko sa inyo ang totoo. Nang ginawa nyo ito sa pinakahamak kong mga kapatid, para na rin itong ginawa sa akin. In the grade school, choosing to do the more loving action seems to be a tall order for our young students. However, this becomes more doable and practicable if premised with the idea of children helping children. An important aspect of this is compassion, which is the ability to show empathy for others. In school, students are provided with venues in order for them not only to be aware, but also to extend personal care, or what we often refer to as scura personalis. Through the school's different formation programs, students are exposed to the plight of people, and this experience helps them to be in touch with their feelings and also be aware of how others feel in different situations. Throughout the year, there are many opportunities whereby students are encouraged to offer help or relief, especially during times of emergencies or calamities. More often than not, these calamities are brought about by our wanton disregard of the environment. It's also compassion that tries to awaken in us our love, concern, 
and respect for creation. This past year, we have witnessed how a tiny virus placed everything at a standstill, how it disrupted and even claimed lives. Chat rooms have been abuzz with stories of how this pandemic robbed our students of their formative years. Reason enough why some people have already called it the lost year. However, there is also a segment of society that does not want to talk about it as the lost year. Here in Ateneo, we also want to think that not all is lost because it is the process of emptying ourselves of the familiar that allows us to gain and learn new things. We have successfully implemented our own brand of online distance learning. We have fast-tracked the integration and use of technology in aid of instruction. We have evolved into a more resilient, inventive, and adaptive community. These and many more happened last year because Ateneo remained true and steadfast in its commitment to the community. Commitment. Commitment is also something that we want to instill in the minds and hearts of our young learners, lest it remains just a mere abstraction for our students. The school makes certain that the fire of commitment is made concrete in the lives of our students. Naipapakita ito ng mga kabataan sa tuwing humaharap sila sa iba't ibang hamon ng buhay at sa paghahanap ng mga solusyon sa mga suliranin. Ang pagsisikap nilang tapusin ang kanilang sinimulan na may husay, syaga at galing ay isa ring tanda nito. Commitment is also seen in how they expend time, talent, and energy in fulfilling their responsibilities not only to themselves, but also to others. Commitment demands resilience and hard work from all of us who should always be in pursuit of a dream that goes beyond one's own, a dream that is larger than life, amare et servire. To love and serve the Lord in all things is the highest form of commitment an Athenian can give. And it all starts here in the grade school. Yes, the rumors are true. A young eagle has finally landed and has found its nest on campus. Like you, my dear Athenians, I know that you're dying to come back and reclaim this campus of ours. But I think we have to wait at least one more year before we can see each other again face to face. All we can do now is to pray for one another that for the coming school year, the Ateneo de Manila Grade School may have the grace of perseverance that will allow us to move forward as one community no matter how challenging the prospects may be. Wisdom that will allow us to make better and informed choices as we yet again blaze the trail for new discoveries. And courage that will allow us to let go of our fears and let God shape us as we tread a better path for ourselves. We still do not know what the future holds for us, but may our newly found confidence brought about by our collective experience the past school year serve as the source and gateway for a renewed and deeper mission ahead of us. I believe 
we can do it if we choose to care enough and pray to Him who is the source of everything. Ad Maiorem Dei Gloriam.